Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our final 2008 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Dill Schwartz. His presenter, Class of 2006 Hall of Famer, Mr. Ray Wallace. Dell Schwartz has been involved in wrestling for 50 years as a competitor, coach, and tournament organizer. As a competitor, he was a two-time high school state placer, a four-time college state champion, and a two-time placer at the NIA Nationals. He was a four-year college starter in both football and wrestling and was a captain two years in football and three years in wrestling. Dell started coaching in 1996, correction, 1966 at Pacifica High School where he developed over 300 tournament champions. One, his record was 105 wins and 14 losses. He had seven varsity league championships with 23 league championships overall. The Pacifica program had over 100 wrestlers per year from 1968 through 1975 involved in wrestling. In that time span, Pacifica High School was a top six finisher in the Southern Section CIF Wrestling Finals, six years in a row with over 350 schools. Dell co-founded the Orange County Summer League, which developed into one of the largest summer wrestling programs in the United States, with over 35 schools involved. He was selected as the Orange County Wrestling Coach of the Year five times. Dell also coached the Orange County North All-Star Team six times. Dell organized numerous cultural exchange programs to Japan, Russia, Hawaii, San Diego, and Bakersfield, to name a few. In 1982, Dell co-founded TMI, a wrestling service organization which hosted over 100 tournaments, including 10 CIF championships, three junior college state championships, the Pac-10 wrestling finals, and the Olympic trials. Dell also coached at Cypress College, Laguna Hills High School, and El Toro High School. Three of his wrestlers and coaches have gone on to win numerous CIF and state championships. Dell was elected to the College Inaugural Hall of Fame for wrestling and football in 1986. Dell was also elected to the Orange County Wrestling Hall of Fame in 1991. Dell is a member of the California Wrestling Hall of Fame Executive Committee as our treasurer. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2008 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Dell Schwartz. I tell you what, does the uh, Hall of Fame people, do they know how to throw a party or what? <laughs> it's just something, I tell you. I heard, uh, I heard this story the other day. This man wanted to learn how to cook. And his first, his first uh, opportunity to cook, he cooked a turkey. And he cooked it for three days. And of course his wife said, uh, what were you thinking of? You overcooked that turkey, unbelievable. He said, I followed the directions. She said, what are those? He says, on the side of the turkey it says, cook 30 minutes per pound. And I'm 185 pounds. <laughs> hey. Ah, do -do 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 -do. Good intentions, bad directions. You know, the, uh, the average person in the United States lives approximately 76 years. That's 27,740 days. Uh, most of my friends are at 6,000 days minus counting down and uh, we need to do us all we can with passion and tension for these remaining days. I am so pleased and honored that you would take one of your limited days of your busy schedule and choose to spend it with the Hall of Fame banquet honoring one of your special people. Thank you very much. I would like to thank the Hall of Fame Board of Directors for nominating me for this award. I would like to thank my family for their support and help during my coaching years. I would like to thank our excellent coaches that we had for their time, for their energy, for their friendship. Ray Wallace, Frank Gonzalez, Cliff Jarmy. Um, we were so blessed to have boosters, parents, school administrators, who give so unselfishly of their time, financial help, physical and mental support. I would like to give a special thanks right now to Suzanne, my wife, Todd Tomazak, Mr. TMI, Dennis Bardsley and Lynn Dice for, for their help with putting on this banquet. And last but certainly not least, to all of our wrestlers, 
for their dedication, ambition, hard work, courage for participating in the great sport of wrestling. I feel so fortunate to have chosen education field for my purpose in life. The big man up in the sky picked me to be an educator. And I, I truly felt blessed to go to work each day. The challenges, opportunities, fulfillness were absolutely unbelievable. To see a skinny, a skinny, a skinny, <laughs> unsure, uh, pimply faced 14 year old boy come up to you and ask if you can come out for the wrestling team. And then four years later, see a self confident, purpose driven, dedicated, hard working young man that had developed the tools to be a successful student, athlete, husband, father, and friend is truly fantastic. The transformation being more spectacular than that of the moth and the butterfly. Um, the, some of the tools they developed were dedication, determination, perseverance, ethical behavior, the ability to adjust your environment, and a great deal of hard work. Um, I feel so proud and humbled to have seen thousands of young men acquire lifelong skills to becoming successful athletes, students, <coughs> businessmen, passionate fathers, husbands, and friends, all helped develop by the wonderful sport of wrestling. As we grow older, we sometimes forget the passion for living that we had or take it for granted. Suzanne and I have nine and two-thirds grandchildren. <laughs> if you want to see passion, go, go babysit your grandchildren for a while. The enthusiasm, the honesty, the love of life, the sparkling of eyes, the pure of heart are so contagious that you can't help but being touched by their passion for life. If you don't have any grandchildren, go to a wrestling match. <laughs> right above the mat, you're going to see neon lights blinking. That's a enthusiasm and passion. And uh, you need it to survive in wrestling. Uh, in closing, I would like to thank, uh, I'd like to quote that famous Austrian psychiatrist, Hermann Van Schwartz, who said, when life is all done, it's not who you know, it's not what you did, it's how you live. And with that, I challenge you to go out and live your life with the same passion and purpose and intensity for life that our wrestlers and our grandchildren possess. Good night. God bless.